what's good what's up y'all it's your girl yo yo and i'm back with another video so yes i did change the channel name but i promised this is the last name change i was kind of going through like a phase of like who do i want to be who is the artist because i'm separating the artist from the person i decided you know i believe in the reason why i chose the artist name yo yo chanel and i'm gonna stick with it i'm gonna stick by her she did great she's making a comeback we're working on her presence we're working on what she gotta work on and coincidentally that's what i wanted to talk to you guys about what i wanted to make a video about today how you can change who you are hear me out I know there's been a lot of love yourself propaganda and cool like yes it is important to love yourself it's great to love yourself but I feel like the whole love yourself stigma it's what keeps people complacent it's what keeps people in a box like it just keeps you in okay you know what I'm content with who I am I'm okay with my flaws I'm just gonna settle for this version of myself and this is what happened to me for a long period of time. Me being a social media girly myself, I succumbed to a lot of these trends, a lot of what the influencers or the wellness gurus wanted to talk about. And so I decided, no, I have to be real with myself. Do I love myself for who I am at this moment? No. Well, I did say that a while ago and then I started making changes and I am starting to fall in love with myself again and it's something that I want you guys to be able to do. I can only share what works for me. It's obviously not going to work for everybody. My approach is very different than other people's approaches. I'm a very direct blunt person. Not a lot of people can even handle me. And that was part of me accepting, okay, this is part of who I am. This is one of the things that I don't want to change. I don't want to change how blunt and direct I am. I don't want to change my honesty. But we're going to get into how I did it. Just hear me out. Just watch this video to the end. And then leave your little comment. Because I know y'all comments could be a little, a little feisty. Like, whoa, like you are supposed to love yourself. Yes. I'm not saying not to love yourself. I'm saying it's okay to want to change parts about you. I'm also not here for be a completely different person for someone else or I want to be like this person so I need to change and be more like them. No, I'm also not about that. The point of this is to change the things that you don't like about yourself to become a better version of yourself. How did I do it? I went through a long period of depression. I gained a lot of weight and I feel like that was a big part of my identity, my look. because. I love a lot of things about who I am internally, but there were a lot of things that I didn't like about myself externally. I talk a lot on my channel about mindset and how your mind is basically a muscle. You can train your mind into doing a lot more than you think. It's not something that happens overnight either. It takes time to train that muscle, to train yourself to look at things differently with a different perspective. It takes time to like become conscious and become aware of your thoughts and then reacting to those because a lot of the times it's not even your thought it's your reaction to things that happen that's where the shift happens i've also talked about i forgot the name of the book but i'm going to post it right here and i'm going to put it in the description but this book did so much like it really genuinely changed my life because it changed my mindset about a lot of things and it it was the start of me being able to train my mind to think at, to look at things differently. So once I was able to determine and realize that, okay, I'm not happy with who I am, I'm not content, and there are things that I want to change, then I was able to start this process. So the first step is just realizing that you want to change certain things about yourself. What I did after that was I basically came up with a list. So let me show you on my iPad. This, I did two separate lists things that I love about myself and things that I hate about myself. Be patient with me now, be patient. The things I love about myself is the things that you wanna keep, the things you wanna remain constant. The things that I hate about myself, again, part of this is just being brutally honest with yourself and being like 100% real. Because if you're complacent with who you are, then how are you ever gonna evolve? You can't evolve if there's no change, right? So things that I hate about myself. So these are the things that I want to change or the things that I don't have. It's okay to be real with you about these things. 
because this is what's gonna help you become that next level you so in my list these are just some examples of stuff i don't want to get too personal because you know but this is me bringing y'all into the, like these are my insecurities i'm laying it all out there for y'all my personality my people personness so i love how i interact with people i love how i can get along with almost almost anybody i love my butt i feel like i have a fat butt i love it <laughs> it could be bigger but i can't be that much of a hater on myself i don't want to change these things about myself this is me this is i'm true to myself by keeping these things the same i, I don't think it's possible for you to not love anything about yourself i feel like at that point you have like mental problems that you need to work out or you need a therapist at that point like you gotta figure yourself out because maybe if you don't love yourself at all then it's just because you don't know yourself so i think at that point you have to do some self-discovery you have to really like okay who am i you know that's a bit deeper i feel like everybody should have at least five things that you love about yourself it could be about you internally on the outside whatever don't be like oh i hate everything about myself no stop there gotta be something that makes you you that you wouldn't give up the next part of the list is a little bit easier for me at least the things i hate about myself these are the things i want to change or the things that i want but i don't have starting with my teeth i used to like my teeth before but they became really crooked in the process i have an overbite I have crooked teeth, I have crooked teeth on the bottom, I don't like my weight. I've always, as soon as I entered college, my weight started going whoop, don't like that. Not only because of my health, but also because of my stamina. I like being active, I like dancing, I like, mm -hmm. So if I'm at a certain weight, I can't perform those things the way I want to. And so it's a health thing more than it's a looks thing. Um, I tried to do the whole self-love thing and I'm not saying that being bigger isn't beautiful I'm just saying it didn't work for me I knew that when I looked at myself in the mirror and I saw a bigger girl like I just I couldn't identify with the girl that I was seeing in the mirror like it, it just wasn't me I was always the skinny girl or the slim thick girl and then from at some point I went from being slim thick to being like overweight like heavyweight like big and at that point that's when i stopped recognizing myself and it was hard it was really hard for me and i don't know if it's so much of a weight thing but my face carries a lot of my weight so i get a really chunky face i don't like how that looks on me but like it's okay to not want to be bigger social media is making it so normalized to be bigger and i think that's nice that's beautiful not everybody wants to be skinny not everybody wants to be thin i feel like this is just a personal choice for me personally, I wanted to put my health above all. I still love being thick. Like I don't want to lose my butt and my thighs, which was hard part of the losing weight process is knowing that some of the stuff that I like about myself is gonna go away as I lose weight. Now we go on to the next part, the next phase of our transformation, which is the action plan. This is where we set goals. This is where we set, okay, this is what we're gonna do to get there. Because yeah, it's cool to want some things. It's cool to wanna lose weight, but are you doing the work to lose weight? Yes, you can change your mindset about certain things, but if you don't actually do the action, if you don't put forth the effort, nothing is gonna happen, unfortunately, because your mind could be determined, but you're not acting. So if you notice the things that I wanna keep, I didn't put any action items on it because I just wanna remain it that way. I wanna keep it that way. So I'm gonna keep doing the things that I'm doing in this aspect of my life now on the other aspect of my life this is the stuff that i want to change for example my teeth what do i have to do to get my teeth to look the way i want it to look i need to book a dental appointment that's the first thing i need them to check these teeth out i want to get my wisdom tooth extracted and i want to get invisalign so after i book the appointment what is the goal of that appointment those are the things i want to do then when it comes to my weight how am i going to do that i'm going to become i'm going to begin an intensive 21 day diet so this is my plan so I can lose faster weight. And I will work out five times a week. These are the different things I'm gonna do. Even in these things, there's more things to it, obviously, like it keeps breaking down into smaller. All of these are called choices. Once you make the action plan, then it's all dependent on your choices. You do need a plan, you do need to plan it out. 
but there's more layers there's deeper layers to every single step a big thing i want you to take with you is that nothing is gonna happen overnight everything is sort of losing weight i can't just say i can't wake up today and be like i want to lose 25 pounds and i'm gonna lose it next month there's action steps there's things okay this week i'm gonna do this look ahead what is the bigger goal you have a goal set you have a time frame that you want it by there's something called smart goals i'm going to put it here as well they have to be specific measurable attainable reliable or like um reliable no whatever the r the t is timely it has to be time bound you have to put a time limit to it so in losing weight i want to lose 21 pounds by december 31st is it specific yes it's specific i want to lose that amount of pounds it's time bound it has a time frame i want to do that by december that means i have six months to lose 21 pounds it's very doable actually what this is gonna do you choosing to make this list and to work on this list what happens is you're naturally in a few months in literally a few months you're gonna see a different version of yourself because one you're already gonna be the version of yourself that is aspiring to be better and you're already the version of yourself that is actually doing the thing losing weight isn't about just being slimmer it's about changing your lifestyle becoming a healthier person overall right as soon as you start putting these steps into practice you're gonna naturally notice a difference in yourself and your lifestyle how you interact with other people the things that you're starting to lose interest in and the things that you're gaining interest in that's it that's literally it and i promise you i'm not even gonna lie i did it i did this list a few months ago and it's crazy because I was catching up with my sister after not seeing her for like one or two months and it was just crazy to me to see like how much of a different person I was from the time that I had talked to her last. I was actively working on my goals. Like it's not, it, it wasn't a conversation that we usually have and she's done the same thing and I'm so proud of her as well. For me, it was, we usually have the conversation of I want to do, I want to do, I want to do. And for the first time I could tell her, I did this. I renewed my permit or I'm renewing my permit tomorrow. And I applied for college again. Like, I'm actually doing it. I've been going to the gym, you know what I'm saying? She did her first run, not, not a marathon, but she's on her way to doing a marathon, but she couldn't just wake up and I just wanna do a marathon. No, like she's practicing and now she did like a runny thing, I forgot what it's called. And then she's gonna do a half a marathon and then she's gonna do a marathon. And that's what this whole thing is about working on the steps to individually change the things that you don't like about yourself so that you can become that person that you want to be and eventually if you stay true to yourself like the things like the list of things i love about myself and you work on the things that you don't like about yourself you are going to naturally become a more evolved you you shouldn't be a whole completely different you but it'll be a more evolved mature version of who you were of who you are and I don't look at myself in the mirror with pity anymore. That's what I, when I did the whole self-love and look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you love yourself 20 times. No, once I let go of that notion, I don't pity myself no more. I'm like, okay, we're not there yet, but we're working on it. Now at least I have more respect for myself because now I'm like, okay, I'm actually doing it. I'm actually working towards it. You know what I mean? So I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in the comments down below if you did find it helpful, if it was straightforward enough, if I explained it correctly. If you have any questions that would love to help, drop them down in the comments below. Please give this video a thumbs up so that you know YouTube can see that I'm doing my thing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Bye.